This is a species of Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi, and we found it back in 2009 during construction work at the Thomas Jefferson School of Law. Having the skull is actually pretty important because we had the, the upper teeth embedded into the skull and there was a fair amount of the palate, part of the basal cranium, the back of the skull. We also got both tusks that had slipped out of the skull, um, but we had the, the tusk openings within the skull. So these were all fairly interesting aspects of the skull. Uh, my name is Gilbert Boswell. I'm a radiologist uh, working at the Navy Medical Center San Diego. We do imaging, advanced imaging for all of our beneficiaries here, anything involving x-ray, CAT scans, ultrasound, MRI. As far as we know, this species of mammoth has never been digitally captured uh, using CT technology. We're in the process of doing a research project. Um, we're trying to describe this animal. So a lot of the diagnostic features that help you tell specifically what species of mammoth you have are found in the teeth and also within different pieces of anatomy on the skull. So the reason that we scanned the mammoth skull is because doing the scan would allow us to see more of the skull that we can't see with just our regular eyes. Um, when the skull was being preserved as a fossil, it was filled in with sediment. And because the skull is somewhat fragile, we don't want to remove every piece of sediment from, you know, within its brain case and up its, um, you know, nostrils and up its tusk alveoli. Uh, so by doing the scan, we're able to separate out the sediments so that we can see more features from inside the skull, things like the inner ear and the shape of the brain case. We created a special, uh, very narrow tailored jacket to just kind of hug the skull. This is a pretty effective way to keep the specimen um, safe. Uh, you can rotate it around, you can look at it without it breaking up. By getting the scan, we were able to get the complete dimensions of each tooth and do things like count the enamel plates in the tooth without having to harm the specimen in any way. So, so far we've used the images um, to, do, to gather data, so measurement data, um, for both the skull and for the molar elements. And we've also used them in, to figure in the paper. So we have side-by-side -side pictures of the scan data with an actual picture of the specimen. Um, and so primarily what has been useful for us is just getting a visual picture of the skull and also getting the measurements and the dimensions. Um, but future research outside of this manuscript might take a closer look at some of the data, for example, studying the inner ear of the mammoth. Uh, it's been a challenge. It's involved uh, working with a lot of our physicists and, uh, and other radiology personnel to actually learn what skills, what we can do with this, which actually makes us a little bit sharper in, in our day-to-day -day practice.